Alan, you've been in this league for 10 years, going on 11. You came here to the Giants. Brian Dable said he explained what your role would be as you came here. Well, now uh, preseason's about over. How do you feel you've uh, acclimated yourself, and, and how do you feel you stand right now? Yeah, um, you know, again, um, as far as where I stand and things like that, you know, it's not really for me to judge. You know, I feel like I was able to make plays when my number was called. You know, I feel like I showed up. I feel like I showed consistency. So, you know, again, um, for me, it just was about going out here each and every day and trying to get better, you know, um, learning the playbook, you know, learning more to offense and things like that, you know, which I thought I did, you know. And again, at the same time, like I said before, uh, for me, it was about being consistent. It was about stacking days on top of each other. You know, I feel like I was able to do that. Yeah, I thought you were consistent. You showed good hands like we always say. You, know, you get 3,000-yard seasons. And in the last two weeks, I thought, you got even more and more targets in practice. And I thought that that was a, a real plus for you. Yeah, you know, again, like I said before, for me, you know, um, in this business, you know, it's always about just making plays and doing what you need to do when your number is called. You know, so for me, you know, um, I challenge myself each and every day, you know, to, to be able to make that happen. You know, and I feel like I was able to, to make plays when my number is called. You know, and again, for me, it's about going out there every day and trying to get better. You know, and I feel like I was able to do that during this training camp. Has there ever been a time in your career that you've been part of what could be a bubbles numbers game? Has that ever happened to you before? I, I can't remember it. Oh, uh, no, no, I have it. Um, so is this different? Is, is it kind of weird? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I don't even concern myself with things that are really out of my control. You know, I mean, I don't have no control over that. So, again, um, I don't even really, you know, give it give it much thought, you know, to be honest. Um, for me, it's just about going out there, being a football player, being the best football player that I can be, you know, and that's all I know. You know, like I said before, for me, throughout training camp, I feel like I was able to do that, you know, and that's, that's all I can control. I remember you saying a couple of weeks ago when we talked to you in a media availability that being the best football player also means being the best teammate. And you are praised for being a pro's pro and helping the young guys in the room. How valuable do you think that's been for you and this team? Yeah, you know, um, I don't really, you know, consider that to be at all, you know, of, of value. You know, again, I mean, I want to I wanna be the best teammate that I can, you know, because when you're around these guys for three, four, five months, you know, you're able to, to create that, bond and so on and so forth you know so it's not a, a value thing for me it's just about you know whenever you're in a room like this man and you spend around as amount of hours as, as you do around these guys you know any way that i can help guys get better you know like i said before on on the field off the field you know whatever that may be football recovery life you know i try to i try to always keep it that you know because again i mean at the end of the day it's, it's numbers it's all these other things but you know we're people you know and i've been in those shoes as a younger receiver as a year mm -hmm. two receiver as a year three receiver as a rookie you know, so for me, whatever knowledge I can kind of, I can try to spread to those guys, you know, I do. There's an awful lot of potential in this young receivers room that the Giants have right now. How do you think they can best get to maximize what they've got in, in, in terms of ability? Yeah, you know, um, it starts with, you know, taking it one day at a time, you know, figuring out, you know, every time you step on that field, you know, how you can get better. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. Like I said before, that's one of the biggest things that I've learned in this league for me is, you know, every time I step on that grass, you know, I have to figure out, you know, where do I feel deficient at? You know, what needs to be improved? You know, what things can I polish up on? You know, and I think when you do that on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, you find consistency.